Social media is the modern day money printer. People are producing numbers like this with ease and scaling accounts to thousands of followers. In this video, I'll show you one of the most viral TikTok niches of 2024, and then show a brand new twist on the content that's allowed accounts like this to grow to over 100,000 followers. So as you might have guessed by the title, we're going to be revisiting the 80s dark fantasy niche. This basically takes modern characters and recreates them in this dark fantasy style. Pretty cool, right? Now the new thing is that people are animating these characters and making them talk, which allows them to put a viral twist on this content. I'll show you this example video that got over 1.6 million views, and then I'll show you exactly, step by step, how to make this content for yourself. You know what's crazy? Is that that low taper fade, like, meme? Dude, it is still massive. Yeah, massive. Man, I've seen new ones that I've never seen before. All Man. right, let's lock in. As always, head to the Google Doc in this video's description as it contains everything that we'll use in this video. If you guys want more advanced tips as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, then join my school community. Also, if you need accounts inside of the creativity program regions, then check the video's description. All right, let's start by creating our character ideas as well as a script. Now I'm going to use Donald Trump as my character as he's a very famous figure. Start by heading to ChatGPT and I'll ask the AI to create me a victory speech in the style of Donald Trump that he would say after he won the election. If you guys want this exact prompt, I'll leave it in the Google Doc. As you can see, the AI has gone ahead and created us a 1000 character script for us to use. Now copy it, and we can straight away make our voiceover. Now we want Trump's voice. So to clone this, we firstly need to head to YouTube. Once you're on here, search for Donald Trump voice clone. You wanna look for this exact video. Once you have it, you need to download the video and extract the mp3 file. All right, we've got Trump, let's now clone his voice. To do this, head to 11 labs using the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on here, the first thing we need to do is head to the Voices tab on the right-hand side of the screen. Once you've clicked it, you wanna click this button to create a new 11 labs voice. This tab should now come up, and on here, we want to go ahead and click the option to add a new cloned voice to our library. Once you're on this next tab, you need to click and add the voice recording of Donald Trump that you got from YouTube. Once it's in place, clone the voice and head back to speech. I'll skip to when this is done. Now that you're back here, you need to go ahead and firstly paste in the script that we got from ChatGPT. Once it's in place, we now wanna hit this drop down with all the different voices. Go ahead and select the Trump voice that you just cloned. Once our script and our voice are in place, we can go ahead and generate our voiceover. Now go ahead and download it when it's complete. We're making good progress. Keep watching as I'll go through how to create the dark fantasy images, how to animate them, and how to edit it all together. All right guys, we'll now get our images. To do this, we firstly need some images of Trump that we can feed into the AI. Head to Google Images and begin by searching for Donald Trump. Now here we need to be quite specific. We're looking for photos where you can clearly see your character's face as this will affect the animation software. Now you wanna go ahead and save two to three images of your character. This will allow us to create more diverse images and keep the scene changing throughout the video. Once you found a few images, save them to your device and we can move over to the next step. Now that we have our character's images, we can go ahead and turn them into AI images. To do this, you wanna head to Leonardo AI using the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on here, head to the middle of the screen and hit this image creation button. Once you're on the next page, we need to change some settings. The first of which is the generation model. Make sure your generation model is set to Leonardo Phoenix as this produces the best results. Once that's done, head just below it and increase the generation quality to the highest possible setting. Finally, head a little bit further and change the image dimensions to the TikTok format. Do this by hitting more and then selecting TikTok. Settings are now done, so we now need to add our picture of Trump. Head to this image icon at the top and click it. Now you wanna go ahead and click this image to image setting. Now what you need to do is find and upload your image of your character. Now as you can see, this option is enabled and I have the picture of Donald Trump here. You also wanna set the strength to a value of around 0.3. That's our settings fully done, we now need to enter the prompt. I'll leave this full prompt in the Google Doc for you to copy over, but it basically creates a DVD style image, which is what we're going for. 
All right, go ahead and generate your first image, and I'll skip to when it's done. As you guys can see, I now have this crazy image of Donald Trump as a king. You now need to repeat this process, but change the image that you use for the image the image setting. I'll go ahead and skip to when all my images are created. As you guys can see, I now have a lot of images that we can use for our video. If you're happy with them, go ahead and download them, and we can begin to animate them. All right guys, to animate our images, we want to head to this tool called DID. Once you're on here, head to the top left and click this create a video button. Once you're on the next page, you want to head to this avatar section and start by importing your photo of Donald Trump. You also need to head above it and change the orientation to 9 by 16, which is the TikTok format. Once your avatar is in place, we need to go ahead and change a few settings. Head to the left of the screen and click the script option. Once you're on here, hit the audio tab and go ahead and upload the audio that we've got from Eleven Labs. This will take a minute, so I'll skip when it's uploaded. Now you can see the audio is ready, head to the top right and click on generate video. This process takes a while, so I once ahead skip to when it's done. As you can see, we now have this crazy talking video Donald Trump. I'm really happy with the way this turned out and I'm going to download and save it to my device. You now need to repeat this process with every single image that you created with Leonardo. Once you have all your videos, download them and we can move to the next step. All right guys, it's now time to edit our video to do this. Head to CapCut. Once you're on CapCut, you want to import everything that we've gathered so far. The first thing to do is drag one of your videos into the timeline like so. Now for some reason, the videos came out really quiet, so you need to select it. Head to the audio tab in the top right and increase the audio value to somewhere around 16. Now that our video is a bit louder, we need to add auto captions. To do this, head to text in the top left. Once you're on here, hit the auto captions button and then hit generate. I'll skip to when this is done. As you can see, we have been left with auto captions throughout our video. These will serve as a placeholder for what we're about to do next. Now you need to drag in the rest of your videos and position them alongside each other like so. I only have two, as this saves me time, but you wanna have around five that you can use for your video. Once the videos are in place, you wanna go ahead and select them all. Now you wanna position the cursor where the captions have a break like this. Once the cursor is in place, Go ahead and use the splitting tool to split the tracks like so. You need to repeat this for your entire timeline until your video timeline looks like this. As you can see, my videos are split where there is a break in the captions. Now what you need to do is change the video for each caption break. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting every other video and I'm deleting it. So I'm left with one continuous video that's consisted of different parts of the two videos. I've spent this part up, but you can see that I'll eventually merge my videos into one full video like this. Once you have a continuous video like this, which changes scene every few seconds, you now wanna go ahead and customize the captions. To do this, select all your captions and then head to the templates option in the top right. Once you're here, you wanna go ahead and pick an engaging template that looks good with your captions. Try and pick one like I've done, where the words appear one word at a time. Okay, that's how we do our captions. For the next part of this video, we're now going to add some effects. Head to effects in the top left, and you wanna pick out and search for this one called black noise. Once it's in place, select it and drag out throughout the entire timeline stop. This will apply the effect to a whole video. Once that's done, you wanna go ahead and add a filter to our video. There's many to choose from, but I like this one here. Once you have a filter, like the effect, drag it out through your entire timeline so it covers the entire video. Good work, guys. There's one last step we need to do. Head to adjustment in the top left and add a custom adjustment. Just like everything else, drag it out so it covers the entire timeline. Now head to the top right and you want to start by increasing the saturation to a value of around 10. This will make your video more vibrant. Once that's done, scroll down and increase the vignette to a value of around 20. This will darken your corners and give your video a brilliant look. Our video is done, so go ahead and export it. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. They said it couldn't be done. They doubted us from day one, but here we are. We beat Kamala. That's all for today's video. If you really want to go viral on TikTok, then join my school community. Bye.